so a little um, epidermal invagination with some villi and acantholysis. So looks like a, a cute little warty D. Yeah, this is a warty disc keratoma. And look, we always teach that they're cup shaped and connect to the surface. And then they've got acantholysis and disc keratosis, which we've talked about before. The cells are falling apart, getting pink and rounding up. Some of them are beginning to break down and turn like really dark and pycnotic. Their nuclei look almost like little rounded parakeratosis is the way I think of it. Those are the core rons or the free floating little long ones. Those are the grains. So acantholysis here plus parakeratosis, or I'm sorry, dyskeratosis here, then that, that goes into that um, group of diseases that can do that, which is warty dyskeratoma, Grover's disease, Derrier's disease, and some others. Uh, but in any case, warty dyskeratomas often are they are cup-shaped and connect to the surface, but I think as I've told you guys before, cup-shaped things that invaginate from the surface, if you don't cut them and section them perfectly down the middle, they're going to actually look like a cyst. Right, So this looks like a cyst, but I bet you if you cut into this block enough, this thing will connect right up to the top out of the surface of a hair follicle. So you know, just like a cyst does, right? Cysts connect to the surface too. If you cut deep enough, you'll usually find that little punctum. So remember that molluscum can do this. Warty dyskeratoma can do this. So if you see acantholysis and dyskeratosis in an apparent cyst, it's almost certainly actually a warty dyskeratoma that you just haven't sectioned through the middle of. So nice example of that.